suck! Eight and a half minutes into my first mission and the main engines cut off and we were in space. That is a moment that will, is forever captured in my mind. That means that uh, I had achieved my life goal. I love the Olympics because when they are standing on the platform getting their gold medals, they have achieved their life goal. That was the same moment for me, that kind of uh, achievement and satisfaction. To look out and see the Earth from space for the first time was just uh, a magical moment. an astronaut for 16 years uh, in Houston. Um, during that period of time I, I supported space shuttle and space station missions and development and, and as a bonus I got to fly in, in space four times. Yeah, My Which name is, is Jim Voss and I'm a former astronaut. I flew on the space shuttle five times and I lived on the International Space Station for six months and I teach here at the University of Colorado now in the aerospace engineering department. And I teach young people like you about what it's like to live and work in space. This is one of my favorite items. That in conjunction with my scissors are what keep me alive because the food uh, comes in packages. Some of them are uh, dehydrated. Some of them are like the meals ready to eat that the Army has. They're prepackaged in, in single serving containers that already have moisture in them. The dehydrated ones we have to inject moisture in. Uh, we can put hot water or cold water depending on what the ice spoon. No right. issue in your teeth is done just like here on Earth with a toothbrush and toothpaste. The difference is you don't have a sink to spit the toothpaste into, so you either have to spit it into a cloth or a rag and have a kind of a mess, or don't use very much toothpaste and then swallow it. I like the treadmill because I like running, and, and it was pretty good. And also, we could watch movies while we ran on the treadmill. We had a control panel that would pull down in front of us that you'd change the speed of the treadmill or the load on your shoulder. Because uh, I started out with a pretty light load at first when I first got there, and then I kept increasing it till it was my normal weight, so it was pulling me down just like I was down here with my normal weight. It's really comfortable. It's like being in a water bed with no water. You just float. You you don't uh, you don't have to toss and turn, and you don't have it, your arm doesn't get sore if you sleep on it. Floating in in uh, space is, and I've tested this on after two missions. I've tested this is exactly like being underwater. You get into a, a no gravity environment that amount of water will equally distribute throughout your whole body and you end up with more water in your head than than you would normally feel. If you want to get a kind of a taste of what that feels like, lay on the floor or lay on your bed tonight without your pillow. If you take that pillow away and hit your head back you'll find that you'll start to feel a little bit stuffy in your head. A little bit of fullness of the feeling in your head as, as there's too much water in, in there in your head. And that is exactly the same feeling that you get pretty much right away when you get into space. Chaser. It's being developed by, it's just down here, it's being developed by a company here in Colorado called Sierra Nevada Corporation and we're working with them. Our part of this, the, this, this, this is a concept vehicle that's meant to replace, be a replacement for the space shuttle to take crew up and down to the space station. How does your work now relate to what you did before? Well it relates directly because now I get a chance to take everything I've learned in the 24 years that I was at NASA and the Navy before and pass it on to people like Christine here. <laughs> right now what our project is doing is trying to use the um, use a software such as a software uh, package to help us figure out what is the best place for each of those boxes. Uh, it's a real rewarding for me to get a chance to do that. 
The challenge is to fit all the boxes in here and have seven people move around comfortably enough to live in it for four days. Or not. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> ignition and liftoff of Shuttle Discovery, Kambate Kudasai. Best of luck to the International Space Station's newest laboratory. Roger roll, Discovery. When I was a, an athlete in school, uh, swam on, on a college team for four years, and what that taught me was, first of all, this will taught me that there's a direct relationship between how hard I worked and how well I performed. Work hard, do well, that's a really valuable lesson, by the way. <laughs> 